Okay guys, this is Fire Alley and Link Descent, and welcome back to the Pirate 101 Nuzlocke, episode 45. We've been a little bit on hiatus because of our good friend school, once again. Yep. Trying to make his test and all that good stuff. I got opted out of those two work tests. Yeah. In the state we in the state we live in, the tests you were able to opt out of, so Link did because he's awesome and I was not able to have that fortune. Talk to seven um, storms. My mom wouldn't have let me if she would have known that I still had to go to school. Hornless one, Braves, remove this intruder. Braves, that's an interesting name. Right. Oh, Graves, you a hole. Let's see. I forget that we have, like, all these doubloons that we need to burn through. Oh, that's right. Like, level 10, 5 doubloons you can burn through. Level 10 ones you can use without too much issues. How about this level 15 will doubloon? I I save that because it would benefit a person, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah look at this guy. Yeah, so thanks. Because I'm the only privateer in this fight. That works too. The money is always good. We don't necessarily need to win the fight right now. I also pulled up my accuracy thing, which we seem to be needing more and more of. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy back there. Yeah, you didn't notice. Well, considering that I just pointed him out, I can say so. <laughs> we should probably save that guy for last. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm on it. Unfortunately, these guys are gonna kind of channel towards me. Don't worry, I can always go around this pub. It's too bad Minnie isn't like here, because Minnie has repel borders and would help out a lot. Yeah. I was about to use Jackrabbit Juju to give repel borders too, but it's too late by that point. Oh well. Huh. Yeah, this is the most interesting part of this series is the fact that we have so many divisions. Yeah. I think that if we were to do this in Pirate 101, it'd be really boring. What? If we were to do this in Pirate 101, I think it'd be kind of boring. But we are doing this in Pirate 101. Being Wizard 101. Oh, I think. <laughs> wrong one. Wrong 101. I'd probably, I probably would time lapse it, especially if we got to like Celestia, because Celestia is a pain. For those of you who don't, who don't know, Celestia is basically the world that broke Wizard One Hundred and One. That's what I'm. That's what I basically start calling it because. I really love yeah. Wizard 101 and I have some fond memories of it, but that <laughs> world is too much for me to handle. Yeah, and he's max level on that thing. Wait, I'm, not, really? I'm not max level. In fact, it's been upgraded so much that I basically just started the game. Where I used to be at the point where I was really good. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm like halfway through the game at this point. Oh, no. And Link remembers when I first beat the game. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's yeah. too many places. He doesn't like me. He stares me down. Axis. But essentially, Axis. in Celestia, street fights take like 20 minutes each. And you lose so much health that you have to recover every single time that you get into a fight. It just got really tedious, and I was like, I can't, I don't have time for this. And I'm, I didn't feel like I was progressing either. As you wish. Eh? Of course. But yeah. <laughs> Let's 
I'd say we're doing fairly well against these guys, considering the fact that they're basically dead. Yeah. I hope my guy attacks me instead of seven guys. Yeah. That's basically how it goes in the nose locks. Like, hit me, not the other guy. Because I got first strike. So if he would have attacked Sabadai, he would have used a relentless uh, vengeance strike. Vengeance strike. I watched him strike. One of my friends from baseball, like, we had a game where we were having bad luck, and I just, like, was like, push up! Yeah, out of just nowhere, we, we just started getting hits, and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> the way to overcome castle panic, Lux. Washba. I got this, guys. Well, it's more like those ghosts got him. Yes, but the ghosts would not have been able to attack without him. Yay! Hey, more doubloons. I got the hermit mask. Fear me. Hornless one, you fight with a strength beyond your size. There may be virtue in this one's heart after all. Perhaps I should listen to your words. Enough of this! I, Thunderhoof, will first right, go all the way back to the city of the Clawfeet. Do we just have to beat Thunder Mask this time? No, we still have to hit everybody. And Thunderhoof has repel borders, so... If you can, sneak in the shadows. Don't him. worry, I got sneak in darkness, dude. Let's walk in darkness. Yeah, that one. I also have my shield wall. But... Ah, have one. Dia, come to Sabudai. <laughs> It just makes us look pretty. I don't think it actually does anything. Me either. It's an invisible man instead of a golden halo. <laughs> the invisible man and the beautiful halo. I love how big theirs are compared to ours. Yeah, I know, right? It's like made to encompass right. the largest companion that they have in the game, which would be Cortez. <laughs> oh, engine strike. Oh. And now it's with the accuracy boost. Wow. And there goes the halo. Now... He can't use his repel borders because I'm a ninja man. Well, if he has repel borders 3, he could do it anyway. True, but... It's only... Two. I'm on it. Alright. Let's go. It's a level 5 one, it's not gonna do any good. Oh my gosh, did you seriously have to show up there, dead guy? That was not a good thing. Now now my turn has been ruined. Thunderhoof, you look like you're getting beat up. Yeah, hey, you know what? Looks like it's gonna hurt. Yeah, that skeletal guy just messed up my move. Bully. Sturdy bull. Laughing watcher. Oh, it's mini. Yay! Put out the fire. Make them be cold. Got three of them. Oh, yeah. really skilled warrior. You can be, you He's can a level useless. five. He was supposed to be out of the way. And instead he was in the way. So now Egg Shan quite literally has to move his body all the way around to do something. And I don't feel like doing that. I'll just wait for the skeletal warrior to die. He's a good shield. <laughs> From the enemy. Basically, if we had a musketeer with us, it'd be a different story. I think I got Thunderhoof this time because I got first strike and Cyberdyne has uh, vengeance strike. Yeah. 
You know what's weird is the colors say that you should go first, but I'm going first. Like the lighter, the person in lighter blue always goes second. But I am going first. I that there we go, magic. Yeah, I did. Oh, he did something. Ooh, five damage. Yeah, he basically did do five damage for what it was worth. Because I can. As you wish. Oh, you are going first. I could have sworn last time you went second. That was weird. Just because I could. <laughs> If only I if only I had like flanking or something. I actually can get that though. Yeah. But well, no, one of the I can't, but I can get a companion I can get a companion who does have it. Fan Flanders. No, I can't get fan flanders. Oh. I looked at all. I looked at ahead at the companions we could get, so I could plan out the series better. And I found a com and I found a companion that has flanking automatically for privateers. Oh, nice. That's good. So we might be able to use flanking after all. Death by ostrich. Spell to warriors trying his best. Oh, poor... Poor dude. Ex Shen is not gonna be able to beat up on anybody. This is gonna be me and you on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Whee! I have so many melee abilities. He shot me at point blank. How rude. Oh, he got critical by a low. Ooh, point five. one. I don't really have a whole lot of moves I can use. I found my rage ability. <laughs> the blood, the blood of Bonnie Ann. Yeah, Bonnie Ann's rage. <laughs> Got him. You laugh every time I say that. You're like, I have the ability of rage, and you just start chuckling. Like, Wait, yes. The stranger has fought with bravery and honor. My eyes see a great destiny before this one. My chief, listen to the stranger's words. I just got Mighty Grip, the uh, Rhodes 10 gallon. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff from that. You come and I also got. Clark, he will plus. Be punished for uh, robbing the graves of our ancestors. The claw feet say they want to. I got Mark 4H. And. Weapon Power to Blue. To our burial ground. Now to an emulator. The sacred charms of our grandfathers. The death of the Clawfoot Clark would appease the angry spirits, but there is another way. When the spirits are at peace, the Clawfoot Clark will go free. Begin by bringing me the sacred charms. You may speak to Clark before you go. How many times do you get that? It's like, we have our prisoner, but you can talk to him before you leave. It does not happen often. No, it never happens, especially in Mario Bone. Yeah. You've got to get me out of here. I mean, just from past experiences, nothing leaps to mind. Is there one of them? Find my current predicament, distract him, extricate me from the tender mercies. Mario Bone's like, you do this, this, and this, and then you get to do this. 
for the price of this. Source of my host problems. Yo. I saw a longboat leaving the bison burial ground full of unsavory types with masks over their faces. It was Johnny Ringo's red oh, sash man. game. Well, I wager the red sashes took the bison's charms. Fight red sash boats and get them to tell you the way to Hidden Valley Ranch, their hideout. Did you, you painted your boat, didn't you? No, it's still no. the moldy banana. It's still the moldy banana. <laughs> Alright. So, unfortunately, we're running out of time here. Yeah! Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. Uh. We've been recording for about 20 minutes anyway, Link, so... Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in episode 46, I think. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.